And then in the central nervous system, when we talk about diseases like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease, it's accumulation in the brain or in nerve cells of the brain. And so what we focus on at Prothena is how that process actually occurs and how to intervene in that process. So when those proteins go awry, we can actually neutralize the toxicity that's caused by that misfolding event. Now, uh, you are much further along than I think most people realize in terms of going to the clinic with some of these. Could you give us your time frame? And I understand that you're well capitalized, so people listening don't necessarily need to think that, well, with that time frame, you're going to have to raise capital. Yeah, so we have a fulsome portfolio. As I mentioned, you know, this focus on misfolded proteins takes us into two kind of interesting uh, therapeutic areas, the peripheral amyloid disease space as well as the central nervous system diseases that we're talking about. In the peripheral space, for example, we have a drug that's currently in phase three evaluation. This is for a disease known as AL amyloidosis, where when that protein accumulates in the heart, it can lead to very serious morbidity for patients up to and including uh, mortality. And so we work closely with the FDA uh, and developed a, a phase three protocol under a special protocol assessment agreement with the FDA. That molecule is moving forward. We're continuing to move forward other programs as well. We, we have a, a program in Parkinson's disease with our partners at Roche, which has now moved into a phase 2B study. Um, we have a molecule that's moving from phase 1 to phase 2 in another peripheral amyloid space called PRX004 for a disease known as ATTR amyloidosis. And then, of course, our Alzheimer's disease portfolio, which is, you know, in some ways a one, two, three punch. We have three different legs to that stool that we think are very important in the context of Alzheimer's disease. The first of those molecules has begun clinical trials. That's in partnership with Bristol Myers Squibb. And then, of course, we have two wholly owned assets in that space um, that we anticipate moving forward in the near term here. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.